Hey guys, Dr. Jake here. I'm gonna do a quick video on reverse T3. I have a longer one coming up, but reverse T3 is this inactive thyroid hormone. It potentially could clog receptor sites downstream where actual T3 goes to dock and have a physiological effect. It's debated, some say it's negligible, some say, hey, it may create more clogging at the receptor site. Either way, reverse T3, to me, it tells me thyroid conversion problems, right? So either way, when we try to bowl, we bowl a ball right down the middle to hit the first pin because it has the largest amount of impact on our bowling, right? The more points. Same with thyroid. When we look at reverse T3, we try to go upstream to the middle pin, to the things that are gonna impact thyroid conversion because reverse T3 is a sign of poor thyroid conversion. So what are the things we look at? We look at cortisol. We look at insulin resistance. We look at liver function and nutrients that impact liver. So this could be cysteine, NAC, the glutathione precursors. It could be selenium. Remember, the enzyme to activate T3 is going to be a deiodinase-based enzyme. And so impact in the liver can have an impact on that conversion. So I mentioned cortisol. I mentioned zinc, selenium, copper, magnesium. So we want to look at the big nutrients that can impact that conversion. So worst case, we have our reverse T3 or a free T3 to reverse T3 ratio, we want to be somewhere in 20 to 30-ish range. That allows us to be somewhere in the mid to low free T3 level, uh, which is like around three to three, five or so. That's in that mid-functional range level. And if our reverse T3 is in the mid-teens or lower, you're we're usually pretty good. So that gives you a pretty good idea. I have a longer form video that'll be out that walks you through it. And that gives me a sign of what's happening regarding conversion, as well as activation at the receptor site level. So give you some feedback on there. And again, when we have conversion issues, you got to go upstream because there can be a lot of things at play. You don't want to just micromanage reverse T3 downstream. You want to go upstream and do all the major system imbalances that can impact that conversion. So hope that makes sense. And if you enjoyed it, let me know. Take care. Bye.